such a kind of PhD student from University of Warsaw and today I'm going to present some issues connected with uh, Aztec rock art temples, rock art, rock art architecture and today I will focus mainly on preliminary results of the studies on, on especially these temples, uh, rock art temples on two uh, uh, different archaeological sites. But starting from scratch, uh, <clears throat> uh, something about uh, rock art architecture studies in Mexico. Actually, there is still a lack of information, still lack of, uh, of, of complex studies about this kind of uh, structures in central Mexico. Uh, uh, very often researchers uh, omitted this type of, uh, of construction in their publications and uh, almost all of uh, architectural publications uh, um, uh, about the Aztecs uh, says that uh, there is only one uh, archaeological site with this kind of architecture and it is Malinalco, so that's why they can't uh, do some um, some complex uh, studies analysis because they have no analogies they have still no uh, information about uh, this uh, kind of architecture and today I'm going to uh, show you that uh, um, um, along with uh, our studies on other uh, sites we can see that uh, the Aztecs uh, uh, also use this rock art architecture in different places than Malinalco but starting with Malinalco, the famous uh, Aztec site. Uh, uh, this uh, archaeological zone is uh, located in uh, near to the town of the same name, Malinalco, and is located uh, on uh, on a on top of the mountain uh, in uh, Ixtapan area, so uh, more or less 100 kilometers uh, on the south from Mexico City. Uh, the whole place, uh, Malinalco, also this, this place on, on top of the mountain and the town was created uh, in the pre-Aztec uh, pre uh, uh, times by the uh, one local uh, community, but uh, in the 15th century uh, the Aztecs uh, conquested this, uh, this place and changed, the, uh, changed this town of Malinalco to uh, some kind of garrison, some kind of uh, town for uh, their uh, army. Uh, in the same uh, 15th century, uh, the Aztecs, probably the Aztecs, uh, uh, created uh, also this part of, uh, of Malinalco, which is uh, actually or probably uh, mainly a ceremonial uh, place that uh, consists on uh, seven or more um, uh, structures, uh, almost all of them are uh, full or partially uh, uh, made with a rock, a rock cut architecture, but it's still, an, uh, but we still need to, uh, to um, make some excavations on the other, uh, in this area to, to look for some other structures. Uh, this ceremonial site is above the, the, the town, uh, as I said, on, on top of the mountain, uh, more or less uh, 200 meters uh, above the city. Uh, and today I'm going to focus on this construction, so the main temple uh, of Malinalco. Uh, um, as I said, uh, for, for, the, for researchers of, of the Aztec <laughs> architecture is the only uh, example of rock art architecture and they uh, trying to connect the, the function of the ceremonial site with the cult of war of, or cult of warriors. But with, uh, with our studies on different sides, of, 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 on the side of Tetzcoatzinco, we can see that uh, there are some more examples of that kind of, uh, of constructions. Uh, uh, so uh, I think that it's uh, necessary to, uh, to make some comparative studies to, 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 to look for these analogies uh, that, uh, mm, that uh, we need to, uh, to uh, make some um, technical or, uh, or, or interpret 
a technical analysis or some interpretations of the significance of uh, rock art uh, architecture in Mexico. So Tezcocinco is, uh, is the site, uh, um, archaeological site located uh, on the uh, eastern, east, east from Mexico City. Uh, today, uh, the archaeological zone is expanded um, on two uh, small hills, Tezcocinco and Metecar. Uh, uh, and uh, this site consists of numerous, uh, numerous uh, structures, uh, both uh, um, rock art or partially rock art or uh, rock cut or uh, and, uh, and structures made with this traditional architectural techniques of the Aztecs. Uh, and we, can't, uh, we can uh, differentiate here, uh, for example, uh, expanded uh, hydraulic system, uh, some temples, residential buildings, etc. It's still unknown the function of this uh, site. There are plenty of, uh, of ideas what was the uh, actual function of, of Tezcocinco, uh, but uh, this uh, place was probably uh, also connected with some ceremonial uh, issues. So what kind of uh, um, rock, cut, rock cut architecture we have in Tezcocinco? For sure, we have uh, uh, two temples. Actually, they're not full rock cut. They have, uh, they have some, uh, um, some part uh, made with these traditional techniques uh, that completed the temples. Uh, also, we have uh, residential buildings uh, that, that, that was made with, by combining the rock cut and uh, traditional uh, type of architecture. Uh, some other elements such as stairs or parts uh, uh, carved in, uh, uh, in the rock and uh, this hydraulic system uh, such as channels or the small pools. But to, to make some uh, comparative studies I will uh, um, I will focus today on these uh, temples, two, two main temples of Tezcocinco for, uh, for uh, see some uh, differences and uh, analogies between Malinalco and Tezcocinco. So uh, a few words about this main temple in Malinalco. Uh, this is actually the most famous uh, structure in this site. Uh, it's uh, right uh, after the, the after entering this site. Um, whole structure is uh, is uh, was made in uh, uh, in this rocky wall of the mountain. Uh, the um, the front of the temple is uh, oriented almost perfectly to the south, uh, and this temple consists on two basic elements. Uh, first, uh, we have this uh, pyramidal platform that is very typical for the Aztecs, for the Aztec temples. Uh, and then uh, under this roof, we have uh, the, the main temple, the main chamber uh, um, carved in the uh, rock. So uh, the platform, as I said, is very typical because it's uh, some kind of, of a pyramid, but uh, it's probably uh, the only one in the whole, uh, whole uh, central Mexico that is fully uh, made uh, in, in rock. It consists of this of stairs to two ramps. We can see here that uh, 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 the Aztecs refilled the, these places of the rock art, uh, architecture that was destroyed and it was uh, refilled with the traditional technique, so with the uh, uh, stones and lime and mortar. Uh, and also this platform was uh, uh, decorated with uh, three uh, sculptures, uh, two on the left and the right. <laughs> Uh, probably the sculptures of sitting jaguars, so war uh, symbol, and one uh, today, uh, today very destroyed uh, uh, sculpture on, in the center of the stairs. Uh, these stairs uh, 
uh, with these stairs we can go to the top of the of the platform and here is some kind of also rock cut uh, uh, small altar uh, probably uh, used for some uh, public ceremonies for, for public uh, sacrifices uh, then we can look uh, on the main temple uh, mm, as we see as we can see it, uh, the temple is forged in the rock mm, in the uh, in the uh, cylinder uh, in the circular form uh, this is uh, today's temple's surface but with these ramps and sculptures we uh, can uh, uh, we can see that the original surface of the of the rock of the wall uh, was moved by the Aztecs to to create this deeper uh, effect of the temple. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the 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 facade of the the front of the temple uh, was decorated, uh, not not so much, but, but because uh, it was decorated, but two simple uh, uh, sculptures. It is un uh, unusual for the Aztec because normally. The ceremonial traditional we, when we have traditional uh, architecture, the ceremonial places were uh, were uh, decorated more than than this type of uh, temple. So we can uh, see these two uh, rock cut uh, sculptures. Uh, one, the, the left one is in the form of war drum. The right one is in the form of sipakli. So. The, mythical crocodile-like earth monster and both of the sculptures was the basis uh, of the um, of other sculpture of uh, seating probably warriors and it's also super untypical because in other temples in traditional temples we, we have you no know, such a thing like uh, let's say the guardians of the temple uh, on the reconstruction we can also uh, see that the entrance was uh, was carved in the form of serpent like face uh, it was the face of the the earth goddess Coatlicue and it's very famous and very popular mesoamerican uh, symbol of of the entrance to the cave to the underworld but i will uh, mm, i will go back to this uh, cave symbolism later um, uh, how, 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 uh, how the chamber looks is also untypical because uh, normally the, uh, the uh, normally Aztec uh, temples was rectangular. This is circular. Uh, it is uh, actually really small. The diameter is <clears throat> about uh, 16 meters. Uh, it's also very dark. We have uh, no uh, no um, source of light. Uh, except of this small doorway. Uh, whole temple has no rock cut roof. It, it, it was actually open to the, to the sky, but uh, excavations showed that, uh, that probably there, there were some uh, kind of organic, uh, uh, organic roof that, that closed this temple. Uh, this pretty simple temple uh, consists on this uh, um, circular bench uh, decorated with some kind of thrones uh, in the form of jaguar and uh, eagles. Uh, in the center, uh, central part we have also uh, this eagle-like altar carved in uh, the same rock. Uh, <clears throat> we can also see these little uh, niches these little holes uh, that was probably uh, used for uh, uh, lightening the fire to, 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 to make more light uh, inside this uh, temple. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, as I said before, for mo more, most of the researchers, this temple is, is, uh, was, um, uh, was the temple of the celebration of the warriors or the, the war because also this uh, jaguar and eagles was this symbol of war. Uh, there are actually no, uh, no complex or deeper uh, technical studies on this temple because uh, most of the research just says that, that this is the only one uh, rock cut temple in, 
uh, central Mexico. But with our studies, with our uh, project on documentation of other sites, the Scotzinko, we can see that there are some kind of structures, some kind of temples uh, that is also made in this kind of uh, with this type of uh, architecture, this rock cut architecture. So now uh, we can see this uh, main uh, temple that is in the top of the hill. Uh, the whole temple consists on two uh, elements. One is uh, the, this, uh, um, this upper uh, rock art uh, temple, probably, ch uh, probably some kind of chamber that now is very destroyed. Uh, and then we have, uh, and then we have <coughs> uh, these two platforms that is made with this traditional, uh, traditional um, stone mortar uh, te technique. Uh, the, the the whole temple was probably uh, made with that uh, rock cut walls. Uh, which uh, and then we can enter to the to this flat wall uh, with some kind of anthropogenic uh, cave. Uh, pro probably there were uh, also some kind of of sculpture guardians uh, of the entrance of this temple. Uh, we can see on this side also the other partially rock cut temple uh, uh, of. Um, and uh, it also consists of this uh, uh, of these traditional platforms, and uh, upper uh, on the top of this platform we have small uh, rectangular chamber, very very simple uh, and as we can see very destroyed today, uh, carved in the natural rock. So, <clears throat> what is the differences and similarities, or what is the similarities actually between uh, these uh, two sites? Um, uh, I will skip the technical issues because I have no time. <laughs> so, so I will I, I will focus. Uh, sorry, I will focus on uh, on some interpretation stuff uh, because it's uh, more visible. So, for sure, one of the most important feature. Uh, in the uh, rock cut uh, architecture of the Aztec was the was uh, was the place where it was made. Uh, both Marinarco and Tetzcozinko was made on the top of the hills, or slope of the hills. So there is a clear um, clear connection between uh, between these temples and the symbol is on the, of the mountain of the Axis Mundi. Uh, so uh, with this location. Uh, both temples can can be um, symbolically uh, uh, that this this world pyramids. Uh, also, uh, when we connect some features such as this Catholic Earth Goddess face or this anthropogenic uh, a cave and obviously the, the mountain location, we can uh, make a Mesoamerican semantic complex of cave. Uh, it was one of the most important uh, symbol in in the, in the Aztec worldview or Mesoamerican worldview because uh, the cave was considered as source of uh, water, source of food, uh, the entrance to the underworld, also a fertility symbol and place of human origin. And it's interesting that such a strong uh, with with a such a strong such a strong symbol in the Aztec area that there was no temples in inside the uh, natural caves inside. Uh, real caves, so probably these two uh, two places, Marinarco and Tetzcozinco, uh, can be considered as the um, as artificial caves. So uh, it will be the maybe the only two uh, temples uh, that can uh, th th that it's uh, um, symbolically represented the cave because it's in uh, natural rock. It's inside the uh, inside the mountain, so then we have these two small chambers when we can, uh, when the priest can uh, connect it with the underworld. So maybe uh, this interpretation of the Marinalco of the rock art uh, um, as uh, something associated with the war could be wrong because uh, we can clearly see that uh, that it has to be something deeper, something with more level. 
and uh, levels of, of symbolism and uh, we can uh, omit this uh, cave symbolism here. Uh, so to finish, I will also say that uh, in Marinalco there was no studies on the hydraulic system, but as we can see, the caves in the, uh, in the Mesoamerica was the source of water. But actually th there are some remains of rock cut hydraulic system or rock cut channels in Marinalco, but still not uh, not analyzed, but at the same time, it, in the Tezcocinco, um, we, we have this huge uh, hydraulic system uh, still uh, well preserved, uh, consists both on the traditional channels and these rock art channels, and uh, whole uh, and this whole system in uh, in uh, Tezcocinco is connected with this lower uh, rock art temple. So probably at the same time, uh, uh, these cave-like uh, uh, temples was uh, considered as the source of water because we know that uh, that people in Tezcocinco used this water from this sacred place also to some pragmatic reasons. So uh, we still need more uh, analysis on this on these two uh, sites to to obtain all the information about uh, about the rock art significance and also technical studies because now we can uh, try to to make some analysis uh, with the comparison of Marinalco with some other places so thank you and sorry for <laughs>